Town Fringe Festival is just about to start. Joining me in studio is magician Marcel Odeon. He's going to tell you what you can expect from the incredible festival. Hello. Hi. It's nice to see you again. Again, it, this time it's nice without the blindfold. It's yes. Just, it's much better. <laughs> so we just saw you do a magic trick. Yeah. I actually blindfolded you with duct tape yeah. and I still got bits of, of tape in my face. <laughs> like, just glue and stuff. <laughs> and, yeah. and you guessed what I was drawing. So I guess that's part of what you do. You're a magician. Yeah. Um, how do you learn these things? So uh, when I was younger, I started with one of these little magic kits and basic mm -hmm. magic books and went to the library to go get magic books at the library. And as I got interested, um, like any skill, once you get better at it, you find specialist stores and you find teachers and mentors who have material out there. And so I went to go learn and study with them. And um, yeah, a lot of it's made easier now because uh, I can get international contact mm -hmm. much better than say 20 years ago yeah. and interact with magicians from all over the world and we discuss our acts and how we can improve things and how what we're doing differently. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm learning from. So a magician isn't your typical job that you hear about. No. What did your parents say when you told them you wanted to be a magician? Um, I think they were just thrilled that I found something that I'm yeah. really passionate about. I mean, I've, I've been performing since I was nine years old, so, mm. and I was earning money for my shows from age 15. So it was always a way to work and, and uh, make pocket money. And then when I left school, I went and studied and I did a bit of a career and I just wasn't happy with that. There's something very cool about being able to travel around the country and around the world with a suitcase filled with toys and props and tools and go out and have fun with people. So uh, I think um, these days choosing a career needs to involve like what are you really, really interested in? Mm. So my parents have been incredibly supportive in, in my career, I must say. What's your favorite trick to do? Ah, well, it's 90% uh, um, of what's, what I perform is stuff that I'm like really, really love to perform. That's the reason I'm, I'm showing it. So I, I would really show you something that I didn't, for some reason, didn't think that was a favorite of mine. So um, I enjoy doing this blindfold thing mm -hmm. in, in this particular show, Slight of Mouth 2. That, that's one of the things that happens in that show. Um, a lot of the other main things that I performed that I'm known for was in last year's show, Slight of Mouth 1. So in Slight of Mouth 2, being the sequel, I had to come up with a whole new show of new magic that I was going to be really interested in. So um, to see what my favorite trick is, come to the show and find out. <laughs> what can we expect from the show? What kind of tricks? Is it going to be kind of the caliber um, of things that, I mean, not things, because we only yeah. saw one trick. Is yeah, it going to be yeah. the same caliber as the trick we just saw? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. It, it's a, it's um, a 55 minutes of magic, illusion, wonder, amazement, laughter, hilarity, lots of audience participation. Um, it's not a show that you just sit back and just watch as if mm -hmm. it was a play. Uh, I'm engaging with the audience the whole time. I'm bringing people up. Uh, in, in Side of Mouth 2, I have an audience member who actually performs an entire trick on their own. They have no idea how they do it, and they become an instant magician when I sit back and relax and, and watch them do all the work. Um, and it's all things that I find that uh, make me laugh mm. and that I have a good time with people um, and as much audience participation as possible. That's really what I'm looking for. Has anything really weird ever happened uh, with an audience member participating? A number of things. Um, but they're sort of once off but occasions. But tell us, happen. just tell oh, us. Uh, you know, uh, people who... Um, you know, when we do the, the drawing that I just did with the blindfold on uh, and, and, and replicating the drawing, I've had some really awkward things that have been drawn that I've had to replicate in front of an audience. And you go, well, I don't know if that was the best choice, you know. <laughs> A little bit rude, sort of what you'd find on the bathroom uh, wall or something. But um, sure. yeah, I've had situations like that happen, and it's fun. I mean, it's, it's not as if anything that will happen on stage is going to throw me mm -hmm. from being able to go through the show. The worst that could possibly happen is that I laugh so much I forget what I'm doing. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and I encourage that kind of thing to happen. I don't... Um, an audience wants to know that the show that they're seeing is unique and special every time they see it. Everybody wants to go to that musical concert where that particular song was sung for the first time or this weird thing happened within the show or there was a moment of spontaneity and reality and, and a magic show is essentially that. It's, it's 55 minutes of the audience not knowing what's going to happen next and I want to get them the sensation that everything's happening for the first time mm -hmm. and sometimes 
things do happen for the first time and I've got to adjust to it and, and incorporate it into the show. Now, the Cape Town Fringe Festival is a series of different acts and plays yeah. and, and, and things happening. It's yeah. all very exciting. I yes. went to it last year. What do you look forward to from the Cape Town Fringe Festival? Well, um, I think it's really nice to have that blend of family shows that are around, the, the real drama, the theatre, um, just uh, the, the interactive performances. My favorite part of the festival is knowing that I can go for a day and watch three or four shows in one day. And I can see a wide variety within a very close space. Um, most of the shows will happen at City Hall. They've got, I think, four theaters at City Hall of different sizes. And then they also have a theater at the Waterfront, um, Galloway Theater, and one or two other places, Alexander Bar, and one or two other places around Cape Town. So um, without having to travel far, you can see a number of really good, top quality South African shows. Um, and you really can't miss an opportunity to see shows of that caliber. Marcel, that, that trick you did earlier really yeah. excited me for the festival. I can't yeah. wait to see you there. <laughs> it's Thank be you fun. so much for coming it's in. It's a pleasure. Just remind us what day the festival starts and when it ends. Okay, the festival starts on Thursday, the 24th of September. That's the public holiday. Mm -hmm. And then it, that's, it'll run until the 4th of October, which is the Sunday. So it's uh, 11 days of amazing and magic and drama and comedy and family shows and it's all those sort of things, all happening within Cape Town. Awesome, thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure.